Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I am back again doing your February 2016 monthly tarot horoscope. This is for everyone with their ascendant sun or moon in the lovely Taurus. And I am back using my regular Shadowscape stack by Stephanie Pui Moon Law, which you can buy on Amazon. Although I have taken artistic creative license with this deck and each deck, unlike the book, has a yes or no on it. And unlike the book, has a lot of notes in my, my personal interpretation of the cards. So if you're learning tarot, I may not be the one to watch um, unless you, know, you wanna look at it from a more of a creative perspective. Um, so that said, um, I, you know, I do want to address, you know, my sex and relationship videos that I am now renting. I apologize for not giving anybody the heads up on that. I didn't really know that I was going to be doing that until sort of last minute. Um, I just wanted to try it and I wanted to see what happened. You know, I'm a curious cat. So <laughs> I did that and I'm really happy with the results, actually. I feel like everybody that wants to view it can view it, um, you know, for small fee and um, people have figured out how to use it now uh, how to rent them um, I will say that if you are on an uh, iPhone or cell phone you cannot go through the prompts to pay for the video so you need to be on a desktop or a laptop if you're having a difficult time uh, going you know finding a way to pay for it so um, it is available in most countries YouTube you know, ha restricts it to, you know, there's, a, I mean, the big, the big countries, main countries around the world are going to be included. Um, but there's some countries that YouTube doesn't offer the rental through. So there's nothing that I can do about that. However, if you do see a country, um, that, you know, if you're in a country that, um, is, you know, one of the big countries or even one of the smaller countries and you think that maybe um, YouTube does offer it, um, definitely contact me because I will make sure the video is um, available for rent in that country. Some, some of the videos I was going through with kind of the last minute and there was a few ones that I didn't check off because it was taking me forever. Um, so just kind of bear that in mind. Also, just so you guys know, um, if you'd like a private reading, um, you can check out my website, oracledaphne.com. I have posted all of my availability through the end of February, um, which means that, um, you know, you can definitely, you know, all you need to do is pick a day and time and, you know, email me and let me know, hey, Elizabeth, are you still available on such and such a date? And um, I'll get you scheduled. It's very easy to schedule. Um, I will say this is like a big FYI that the calendar is just a calendar. It's, it doesn't notify me if somebody posts a comment and I have to go through each day in order to look through comments. And um, most of the time I don't, I haven't had really the time to do that. Um, right now I'm a little bit buried under a lot of different things, uh, wh whether it's my rental question, people questioning about my rentals and um, emails for private clients. I'm just not getting to the to go through my calendar one at a time. So um, it's best if you email me and say, "Hey, Elizabeth, you know, you know, this is the time that I'd like. This is the day that I'm like that I'd like, and I'd like to see if you're still available for that day. It would work best." So that's my spiel, um, and you know, I I am letting people know that I may be charging rentals for my mid videos as well. Um, it's getting to a point where I'm very, very busy and um, there's just not enough time in the day to record or be recording every day, which is kind of nece almost necessary for doing both the general overall month reading plus the mid reading plus, you know, the sex and relationship reading or any of the other videos that I do. It's just a lot. So um, I'm at a point where, um, again, I may be charging for the, you know, mid readings. I am going f forward with leaving at least one, at least my general readings available to everybody because I like the fact that everybody is able to, to watch them and, um, 
you know, I, I just feel like it's it's really good to have those. But um, anything extra that I do at this point uh, is kind of going to be subject to rentals um, just because it is time consuming and um, my time is, is going to be getting more and more tight as, as the year progresses. So um, I do recommend doing a private reading if you have never had one with me. It's really, like I said, easy to schedule and um, it is the best way to get the information that I think you know, that's, that really spe is specific to you, um, that you really need. That, that's what I think. Um, so anyways, let me lay out your spread here. Um, I did shuffle <clears throat> and, um, I'm also telling people that I do believe February is going at the end of February. There's something going on. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I know the sun goes into Pisces at that time. Um, and that could be part of it, but there's something going on. I feel like at the end of February, planetarily speaking, that's going to be affecting everybody or just energetically affecting everybody where there's big things happening. Um, You have a very, Taurus, you have a com, very complicated spread. Again, this video is for Taurus, um, everyone with their sun and sun or moon in Taurus. And um, this is for the overall general month of February 2016. Um, so th this is a very complex spread. I'm going to go through one card at a time so that you can, um, you know, understand where I'm coming from. Uh, the first card that I want to talk about, and if you're new to my channel, welcome, uh, but I start off with in different places. So I'm going to talk about the card and what's crowning you um, beginning of February. Um, and that's the Three of Swords, okay? And this is heartbreak. This is sadness. This is sorrow. This is pain. This is trauma. This is loss, okay? Um, in some cases, grief, too. Um, this is heartbreak because you know, of, you know, uh, you know, a breakup, um, or a divorce, one or the other. Um, you have the 10 of cups in the recent past, which is you having the hots for someone. Um, this is the, this is a great card as far as I call it the sex card. Um, it is, it used to be when I first started doing these, you know, readings with this deck, it used to be all about, that moment in time where you have everything and the only thing that you're, you haven't really sealed it yet um, with a kiss. It's the only thing you haven't done. Um, everything else is done. You know, maybe your wedding is done, your house is done, everything's done. It's like having everything you could possibly want. Um, and also a partner to share it with and love and romance and happiness. Um, and wealth and so it's it's and it's chemistry too some of you may just have the hots for someone okay and this is this was in the recent past okay uh for whatever reason you may you may also have been married at some point in time because to me the ten of cups can also indicate a soulmate type person someone which you had a deep connection with it's a cups card so this is a deep soul level connection um, it is also a phase where really, you're really like, you know, revved up, you know, you're looking to get laid, you're looking to have sex, you want romance at the same time, you want a relationship at the same time. Uh, this is also sleeping with someone, um, that maybe you weren't expecting to sleep with. Um, you know, so it can, it can cover a lot of different areas, anything from really the one night stand to having someone in your life, a real partner in your life. Um, for some of you, you're in a soulmate type relationship and there's a lot of love there, okay? Uh, for others, and this Three of Swords isn't related to that, that pain and suffering. Um, the Three of Swords may have been related to either a death of a loved one or a family member or a friend or something really that caused you some trauma. Um, I do feel like a lot of you, it's personal pain. So it's sort of like maybe you broke up, you know, after a long time being with this person or this person somehow has hurt you. Um, this is also having to make sacrifices and it's hard for Taurus to... 
I feel like sacrifice their material security. So if you've had to make sacrifices where you, you haven't had the house that you wanted or you haven't had the, the, you know, the apartment that you wanted or you didn't get the car that you wanted or you didn't, for whatever reason, these are sacrifices or you didn't get the job that you wanted or, or for whatever reason that you've been let down in some kind of material way um, I feel like that's for, for you it's a sacrifice um, and you also maybe is making sac personal sacrifices for you know family you know if you have kids this is making sacrifices for your kids um, and having to make some hard choices now I also see this as being more than one person having hurt you okay so this is more than one just one breakup Okay, so this is like you kind of getting to this point where you're broken down because you feel your spirit is kind of broken. Um, kind of worn down. I want to say worn down. This can be where you've dated several people and it's just not mature. It's not gone where you wanted it to go. Maybe you, you did have, you know, a lover type relationship. Maybe it was a love affair. Maybe it was a marriage. Maybe it was somebody that you had the hots for. But for whatever reason, your heart has been broken many times and you're tired of that. And maybe maybe that that person did that that relationship didn't go anywhere. Um, so either you're making sacrifices, there was some kind of loss um, or grief that's still kind of going on um, in the beginning of February, or other people have hurt you. Um, you know, multiple people, you know, being broken, you know, broken hearted after every single relationship you've had, where there's never, there hasn't been for you the ideal, ideal breakup, which is sort of like people parting, you know, ways and any kind of a mutually um I don't know what the word is now I can't think of the word I guess what I guess I just want to say it's just not in a kind way okay so you've been hurt before so this is an issue um, because you're going right into, and that's going to sink you mid-February, right into the nosedive of this moon card, which is, in my mind, depression. So this is like grief or sadness that is extended. Um, as you can see, it's kind of dark. You can't really see much because it's night. And um, she is, she's kind of this girl has wandered away off the beaten path and gotten lost. This is feeling lost. This is feeling confusion. This is feeling, what do I do next? Um, going around in circles in your head. Um, this is the definition of insanity and Taurus can get stuck. Um, the definition of insanity of, you know, doing the same thing over again and, and over and over again and expecting different results. You have to break up the pattern um, in order for you to see something different. Um, Some of you, I want to say, are, it's a, it's a certain vibration. Give me a second. It's, it's almost like you want life to be like a permanent vacation. You want it to be more like, more like Zen, more Zen, less stress, more Zen, less you know, chaos and, you know, a lot of stuff going on and confusion. You want it to be Zen, but you're not, you're not doing anything to make it Zen at this time in February. So if you want it to be Zen, you need to like really cut out the stressors in your life. And if you're going, well, I can't cut off this and I can't do that and I can't do this, then you are the definition of insanity. Hoping and wishing and dreaming that things are going to improve without you doing anything about it. Um, so you have to take action steps. My, my feeling is you do need therapy. You need like real therapy where you go in and you sit down for an hour and you talk it out, you know? And it may cost you a hundred bucks, but who cares? There's a lot of people who have sliding fee scales, you know? Um, this is the kind of thing where you need, uh, some of you need grief counseling, trauma counseling, um, some major stuff has happened. Some of you, there may have been like a heart related illness or some of you may have, like some of you who are older may have some heart problems or heart disease. Some of you were 
or getting some stints or stuff like that. You know, the heart is something that I don't know enough about. I will confess this to you. I know a lot about medicine and health and stuff, but the heart is something that I feel like it's kind of one of those very, it's very intricate and detailed and I, and I haven't done my enough research on it, but basically this is heart related stuff. Okay. Um, uh, blood pressure issues, um, a weakened heart chakra, uh, in a weakened heart chakra, not feeling like you're getting the love that you need, um, causes heart problems over time. So this is why I might suggest doing like a heart healing session, um, clearing away some of this old pain, some of this suffering, some of this loss. Some of you need to take time off and go away, but some of you are going, well, I can't take time off because then I can't, because I don't want to lose the money. And if I lose the money, then I won't be able to pay for my child's education. And if I can't pay for my child's education, then how am I supposed to, you know, what am I supposed to do? You know? And so you're kind of just like, you don't, you, you're you're going through this pattern. You're like in this pattern of I can't do this because of that and that. And so what's happening is you're really stuck, or you feel stuck, or you feel confused, or you feel like I have to give up something. Something's got to change, and you're kind of at a breaking point. Um, you, this is where counseling is necessary, you know. And you know you do need to be creative. Um, you need to kind of get in touch with your artistic gifts and talents, um, whatever those may be. Some of it's sewing. Some of it's crafting, some of it's like um, bead making or bead, beading, be, be, I want to say beading, you know, um, like bracelets, jewelry, things that are like very intricate. Um, some of it's paint, some for you, some of it's painting, some of it's drawing, some of it's photography. Um, you need to kind of get back into that mode. I feel like this is going to help you. You need to kind of look at your situation with a creative approach, okay? Because right now you're looking at it from a very practical standpoint and practicality in this case is not gonna help you. You can't, <sighs> you know, death may be a business or pain may be a business, but you can't be practical about these things. You can't, you have to just accept that this is how things are unless you change them. So you need to kind of be in this place of acceptance and Zen and that you have everything you want and you're going to be, you know, you're going to approach things from a creative, creative standpoint rather from a, I'm not getting what I want and I'm pissed off about it standpoint. You know, it's sort of like you're pissed off because you're not getting what you want either with your relationship you're, you're pissed off because you're not getting what you want from other people other people have caused you pain you're pissed off because you're not getting you know again the relationship that you want or um you're pissed off because you're not moving forward in a direction that you would like so so the question is what are you going to do about it if you do nothing things will stay the same and you will stay confused because you are on a merry-go-round for an indefinite period of time um the universe wants to send you um i want to say divine guidance but you're so you're so closed off to it uh, because you want the Zen because you want in a way you want what you want and trust me I, I sort of <laughs> give people the analogy that you know that once a month I become a little bit crazy and desperate and I need to go to the store and get ice cream like I have to like if I don't like I get very irate okay so it's sort of just like uh, the rest of the time I exercise like seven days a week and have an ex excellent diet, but there's one point in time that I have to have it. Now, you're being bullheaded though. You want what you want, but what you want right now is not happening and so you are disappointed, you're upset, you're confused, you don't know where you're going and you're, you're staying in that, that woe is me expecting the universe to change it and the universe wants to change it but the universe is telling you we're, we're divinely guiding you you're being divinely guided you are if you if you believe in a higher power and you believe that everything happens for a reason then you will understand this message if you believe that it is all doom and gloom and there is no hope then you're not understanding the divine 
plan. So it is very important for you to be more spiritual. Be more spiritual. Taurus can, because they're so grounded, when they connect to their spiritual side, it's a really beautiful and powerful thing. Um, I think that's something that you really need to look into whether you connect with a church community whether it's a you know a meditation community it doesn't have to be traditional like protestant or catholic church you know it can be just a group of people that make you feel you know spiritual um this is like a prayer group a meditation group a sanctuary place you know um any religion at all it doesn't matter but you need to kind of get in touch with your spiritual side because i feel like you don't see it now it's so interesting because i've kept journals um through for the last four years i've been very diligent about keeping sketchbooks as journals um and in the beginning and there were times not even in the beginning but during that journey the last four years i couldn't see my way I was lost. I thought it was doom and gloom. I did not know what was going to happen next. I couldn't see it because I was my intuition was blocked and I couldn't see it past my own nose because I just was sort of living every single day, trying to get through every single day and it was a hard time. You may be going through a very hard time and it's just a period of time things will change. Things will, you know, the monotony will break up. You, but you have to be willing to, you have, when you're in it, it's hard to see the bigger picture, but you have to be willing to be in that spiritual mindset that things do change and that you're capable of change and that you're capable of making things better and you have to not give up. You have to be determined. You have to be very strong. Um, it's interesting that I say this because... <laughs> You got the strength card um, later down the line in February. So, so middle of February, it's like you're taking this nose dive and the universe is, is trying to save you, but you're resisting. Okay. Um, remember the law of resistance. You can look up the law of resistance. You're resisting the change. So the universe is sending you the opportunity, but you're like, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I asked for. <laughs> you know? So it's my guide is showing me from the movie The Breakup where she, you know, Vince Vaughn goes, I know I talk a lot about Vince Vaughn. I don't know why, but anyways, Vince Vaughn goes, he's in a lot of movies, I think. Um, he, Jennifer Anderson asks him to go and get 11 lemons, okay, or 13 lemons, okay, because she's trying to make this beautiful centerpiece for the table. And he goes to the store and he buys three lemons. And she, and he comes home and she's like, sweetie, what is this? <laughs> this is not what I asked for. <laughs> and he's like, baby, why, what baby wants, baby gets. You know that. <laughs> so it's, you know, baby wanted 12. She said, oh, it was 12 lemons. Okay, so she's like, baby wanted 12. <laughs> 12 lemons. He's like, why would you want that? <laughs> so this is the kind of, this is the exact conversation that you're having right now in your life with the universe. You're in this place of God, please give me X, Y, Z. And God is not giving you X, Y, Z that you want. God is giving you three lemons rather than 12. Or God is saying, you know what? You're not going to get any lemons for this period of time because you're going through, I want to say a period of time of hardship, which in order to be lifted out of hardship, because this is being lifted out of hardship, something needs to change. Either you need to leave a relationship that is not healthy, you need to literally move, uh, you need to change the pattern and do something that's going to raise your vibration and become more spiritual and make you understand the bigger picture and try to see the bigger picture, either via meditation or via, like, a, like I said, prayer or via, like, you know, a church group or something where you're really just like believing and seeing that, okay, everything is, has a divine timing and things do happen and things will change for the better. If you're kind of a participant and willing to have those things happen, the universe doesn't get the clue if you keep saying, well, that's not what I wanted. 
I wanted 12 lemons, damn it. I wanted everything to be great with my job or I wanted to have the best job or I had the career but I lost it and now I don't have it anymore or I had the I had the relationship but I lost it I don't have it anymore or I had you know something that you had back in the day in the day back in time maybe it was wealth that you had because you have the ten of pentacles crossing you and the Ten of Pentacles is the person that's, that is looking for material security. Excuse me. So, um, I, I do believe, I do believe there is possibilities and there is financial abundance in your life, but it's not as much as you want, or it's not what you want, or it's not how much you want, or it's not coming in when you want. And so you are in a way complaining. Your energy is complaining. You may not be complaining, maybe you're in that place of gratitude, but what I'm seeing is you're complaining. You're complaining and you're picking, 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 picking at something, you're picking at a wound and it's starting to fester. And that's what's happening. And you are not willing to say, okay, I'm going to shift. I'm going to shift. I'm going to change. I'm going to be flexible. You're rigid. You're standing in this very rigid. Uh, I need to be in the control. I want it to be my way or the highway. Point. And this is the Queen of Swords. Now, normally the Queen of Swords is the Capricorn or the Aquarius. However, I feel like it's you, okay? And this is the this is the woman who's frozen over. This is the bitterness. There's a bitterness here in February for you. Um, and I'm not sure why. I feel like, again, it's, it has to do with not getting what you want. It has to do with you complaining. It has to do with you saying to the universe, but I want it my way. I want it done a certain way. And it's connecting with this Ten of Pentacles, which is you want more money. You want more. You want big money. You want it. You want something that's material that you can sink your teeth into, like a giant chunk, like a cake made of money. That's what you're looking for. But your emotional life is suffering. Your relationships are suffering. You are, I want to say you may have money, but you may have no one to share it with. So what good is money at the end of the day? These are tough. This is a tough reading. This is tough. <laughs> this is tough. This, I feel like February is a tough time. I really do. Um, you do have the strength card here. There is some element, you know, Taurus guys, you may be in a relationship with an Aquarius female, Lib uh, Libra female, or Gemini female, a Gemini female. Uh, there's a lot of ladies in this in this picture here, okay? So if you're a lady looking for some a man, uh, I'm not seeing it. Uh, not in February, at least. I don't necessarily feel like this is the time for you to meet Mr. or Mrs. Wright, okay? Um, there's just a lot of ladies. So Taurus guys, either you're dating and playing the field or ladies, um, you have to focus on other things for February, that's kind of how I see it. Uh, Taurus, you Taurus guys may be dating, have dated an air sign because um, you got several air sign people here. Um, it could be the same person. You may have dated like an earth sign in the past, um, a fire sign maybe in the present, <laughs> and then a water sign, and then back to the air person. So there's a lot of Taurus guys. You may be kind of juggling <laughs> several ladies. Uh, I'm not worried about you Taurus guys. Those of you who are single, not worried. No. Um, I feel like though you're going to come to a point in time where you have some decisions to make. Because um, you got the temperance card as the outcome. So, uh, and this is... You know, the temperance card is controlling your temper. It is that 50-50 split where hot and cold. On a good day, you're really, you know, happy. On a bad day, you're, you've are you lost it completely and you, there's like an explosion. Um, 
This is bottling. This is bottling your emotions, controlling your emotions. Uh, this is also legal upset because to me, the temperance card, there's a, there's a legal feel. And you want the judgment card in the center of everything, oh, by the way, which is needing to start fresh, needing to settle, needing to be at a point, if you are going through a divorce, where it's over. Um, needing to start over in relationships, needing to start on that next page. The problem is, is that I feel like this is an ongoing thing because you, the judgment is in the heartbeat of the reading, you know, the middle, which means uh, this is a main, this is a main energy for February. Beginning in February, this is where you're at. You need to start fresh. However, the temperance card is the outcome. So even at the end of February, I feel like it's still going to be continuing because um, the temperance card is, you know, one of the legal cards, you know, divorce, separating, um, you know, f finalization for some of you of some part of your divorce or coming, trying to come to an agreement. Uh, <clears throat> And there's just there's just a lot of there's a lot of divorce elements here. For those of you who are in a happy marriage, I feel like you have had some personal. I feel like this is personal issues. I don't necessarily feel like this is with your partner. For some of you, it could be. Um, I don't feel like for a lot of you. I feel like there's a lot of single people that are watching this. Um, there's a lot of past issues that have gone on. There may be still some legal issues that are going on for some of you that are care that are carrying forward and will be kind of continuing through February. Um, for those of you who are married, I feel like, um, the, the, there's an element of needing to, again, start fresh. Um, so turn the page, um, you know, try to be less controlling with your partner because I feel like this is the ice queen, the ice queen, when the ice queen shows up in, in this kind of position, this means that you're trying to control every aspect. And if you're in a relationship, it's going to cause problems. Um, you can't control everything. You have to ease up. You have to relax. Okay. You got to take a chill pill. You know, Taurus is kind of what I see. And it's funny because the Taurus energy is chill. Um, so for whatever reason, you're acting out of character. I don't necessarily feel like you're really in character this month. Um, I feel like you're a little bit lost and you're confused and you're hurt and you're suffering. Um, and and it, it can be avoided. All of that negativity can be avoided. Um, and my guide is showing me, I had a client who was very stuck and very stubborn. Um, and she didn't want to change, uh, nothing. And, you know, in a way I felt a little bit helpless because she didn't want to hear the, the, the advice that I was giving. So if you're at that point where you don't even want to hear it, then there's nothing that I can say to help you. But if you are even like the door is cracked open, you're like, okay, I need to make a change. I need to do something different. What can I do? Then I feel like this reading will help you. But if you're at that point where you're so unwilling to take advice or to listen or to have guidance, then my feeling is that you will stay lost for a period of time, you know, indefinitely, where nothing will change, where you will get sucked into you know, a depression, a deep funk, uh, or you will get sucked into drugs or alcohol, or you will get sucked into being on the outside. Everything looks great, but on the inside, you're, you're dying. On the inside, you're just like, it, to me, this is like, it, this is like pressure on your internal organs, um, pressure, internalized pain, internalized suffering, where there's no expression of these things. Again, um, talking it through with someone would really help you um, going forward into February. And I don't necessarily feel like that I'm that person. I feel like the person that you need is either someone in the church or someone that's like, um, like even like a Reiki master, somebody that you could go to and talk to um, about issues, someone that might even offer healing, um, someone that's in a spiritual position, somebody who you'll listen to. I don't necessarily feel like you're listening. 
I feel like you are, these, this advice is falling on deaf ears. And I want to say you've hurt, some of you have hurt someone. And you need to make amends. Um, it's because there's some lies. There are some things. There's there's some lies. There's some shade. You know, the moon card is deception. Um, and it's weird because, again, there's a lot of different elements. Someone's lied to you. Someone's hurt you via, their, via your lies. Um... Or someone, or you have hurt someone. Sorry, I'm, I'm, it's it's confusing. It's a weird energy, but it's you hurt someone via your lies. I think that's what I wanted to say. And, and it could be again the other way around too, where you they have hurt you, they've lied to you. But because there's female energy and there's all these female things and you, female in the center, my feeling is that for some of you, not everybody, for some of you, you have hurt someone. For others, they have hurt you. But I feel like in some, for for a lot of you, there's some accountability to be had, and you need to make amends for what you've you've said or what you've done. You may have the again strong Capricorn energy, strong Aquarius energy, but also be strong Gemini or Libra energy, where you are willing to say stuff or you're willing to do stuff that's hurt somebody. Okay, and the thing is, the hurtful part is that you had it all on some level not that long ago you know where things were good where things were very you know romantic and sexy and um there was a lot of love there i want to say you've hurt a loved one some of you not all of you but i feel like you have hurt a loved one either you've hurt your partner um via something you said or did you may have lied to your partner um, you know, and, and it's again, it's just, you, you've hurt somebody, you've hurt somebody really badly. Um, and I feel like this relationship, if you're in a relationship where this crap is going on, you need to get out of it. Um, you need to, you do need to separate. You do need to leave. Okay. Because you have the card of separation and you have this temperance. So, you know, for some of you, you already have, Okay. Um, others, you're still kind of going through this. Um, if you stay, I feel like for some of you, if you stay in this relationship, you will continue to hurt your partner or they will continue to hurt you. And it's, it's you know, it goes both ways. So you do have the world card in the position of your emotions, which is you wanting you wanting the world. Some of you do have psychic ability. Some of you do have, you know, you're kind of a magical person. Um... But I want to say your female hormones, if you're female and watching this, are not quite right. Um, on you know when the moon is cycling, there are times during the month where you are not this person. It's like the dark side of the moon. You are you are. You're acting in your shadow self, and things may be happening at night which your partner doesn't know about. So you may be doing stuff at night. You may be going out at night. You may be sneaking off out at night. You may be, you may have like an overnight job or something. And there's, you know, maybe you're hooking up with a boss at night. There's an issue at night, but it's also your hormones because your hormones, there's something going on with your hormones. Um, you may have, you know, estrogen dominance. You may have uh, like even like PCOS issues. Um, there's hormone hormonal problems. And so, you know, you may have some good days during the month, but pretty much the rest of the time, not so much. Um, on bad days, it goes to shit. You know, you're just very, um, you're just not happy. There's two sides. You may have strong Gemini or strong Libra again in your chart. And I mentioned this again because there's two sides to you. There's the one side. Some of you, it just may be everything on the outside looks good. And when really on the inside, you're unhappy. Okay. That's the bottom line. Um, there's, a, there's also two sides to you where you may be... Um, 
you know, on good days, the nicest person in the world, but on bad days, the biggest bitch in the planet. Okay. So, you know, you need to work on hormone stuff. Seriously. Um, it's something that is, is, is really, it's really going to help you. Um, the other thing, the thing about the world too is everything is, your, the world is your oyster. Emotionally, you want it all. You will only be happy when you have it all. But the problem is, is that the universe is saying to you, that's not what's going on right now. What's going on right now is you need to switch direction. You need to find a better job. You need to switch jobs. You need to change careers. You need to um, get out of the relationship you're in. You need to leave. You need to you know, move. You need to go. And you're like, no, no, no. I'm going down this one path. And this is the only path there is. This is the only path that I want. But you're headed in the wrong direction. You're going around in circles. You're lost. You're, you're, you're not going the way you should. And so what's happening is, is you're asking yourself all these questions. What do I do? Do I show the world how unhappy I am? Do I tell people what's going on? Do I share it with anybody? Do I keep it all to myself? You know, do I wear my heart on my sleeve? Or do I just, you know, continue to keep the facade up that I don't even want a relationship? Or do I continue to keep the facade up for other people? Um, it's important to let people in. Um, so, you know, you get the world and the moon, to, moon in the same reading. And to me, it's, it's issues, cyclical, cyclical issues, things going around and around and around every, you know, 28 days, 30 days, you know, it's, it's, it's a cycle. It's a cycle that you're in, um, which you need to break, which you do need to break. Um, and you have to, you have to be, you have to know that you have everything in this moment that you could possibly want. And you have to accept that sometimes we don't get what we want and that's okay. Cause if we can't have everything um, all at once, it's sort of like Taurus, you're the person that wants to take, you know, a giant bite out of the world. You want to eat the entire gallon of ice cream, but after a while it's either going to make you sick or you're not going to taste anything anymore. Your mouth's going to go numb. So you have to understand limits. I feel like you're not really, you don't really see limits. You are always wanting more. Uh, and this is the challenge. So um, I'm going to leave off there because I feel like uh, I've talked a lot in this video. It's almost a 40 minute video. Um, feel free to reach out if you like a private reading. I do wish you the best um, with everything. And um, I'm going to send you big hugs, big hugs. Big kisses. And I am going to send you some love and romance energy via this rose, this beautiful pink rose. Uh, I got pink roses on my birthday and it's totally blooming. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to send that to you. Love and romance your way. And um, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys so much. And I will be back again. All right. Take care. All the best. Bye.